800 rupees becomes 956 rupees in 3 years at a certain rate of simple interest. If the rate of interest is increased by 4%, what amount will rupees 800 become in 3 years? So basically there are two cases here. Now in the first case that's on the left hand side, you have the principal as 800 rupees which amounts to rupees 956 after 3 years and we have not been given the rate of interest. Let that rate of interest be x percent. Now in the next case the amount is what we have to find and we have been given the principal that's the same 800 rupees and the number of years are also same 3 years and the rate of interest is increased by 4%. So basically R is equals to X plus 4. Now let's concentrate on the case on the left hand side. We have to calculate the rate of interest. Now simple interest is amount minus principal. So 956 minus 800 is 156. It is equals to PNR upon 100. That's 800 times 3 times X upon 100. So these zeros get cancelled out. X is equals to 156 by 8 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 2 is 6. So 52 by 8 and that is 6.5 percent. So we have found out the rate of interest. So the new rate of interest will be equals to 6.5 plus 4 and that's 10.5 percent. Let us calculate the simple interest now. The simple interest is basically equals to PNR upon 100, that's 800 times 3 times 10.5, this is 5, upon 100. These zeros get cancelled out and we have 8 times 3 times 10.5 and that is equals to when solved you get 252 as the interest. Now what has been asked is the amount. Amount is equals to P plus I. That is the principal plus the simple interest. So 800 plus 252 and that's 1052 rupees. So the answer is option C. In how many years rupees 150 will produce the same interest at the rate 8% as rupees 800 produce in 3 years at 4.5 percent. Well let us first calculate the interest produced by 800 rupees in 3 years at 4.5 percent. So it is equals to the principal is 800 times n is 3 times r is 4.5 upon 100. So these zeros get cancelled out. So we have 8 times 3 times 4.5 and that's 108 rupees. Now we have the interest and we have been asked in how many years rupees 150 will produce this same interest at 8%. So again I is equals to PNR upon 100. Interest is the same that's 108 is equals to principal is now 150 times n is what we have to find times the rate is 8%, 8 percent 8 upon 100 so this 0 get cancelled out 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 times 4 is 8 and 5 times 3 is 15 so n is equals to 108 by 3 times 4 and that's 108 by 12 and that is equals to 9 12 times 9 is 108. So 9 years is the answer. Option C. What will be the ratio of simple interest earned by certain amount at the same rate of interest for 6 years and that for 9 years? Well we have to calculate the ratio of simple interest and that's SI1 by SI2. Now the amount is same. Well let us first write the formulas that's P N R upon 100 divided by P N R upon 100. Now the 
principle is basically same and it is said that the rate of interest is also same. So again R is same and we have been given two different number of time periods. So this is N1 and this is N2. So if we cancel out the denominators we have PN1R upon PN2R. P and R gets cancelled out. What remains is N1 by N2. Now N1 by N2 is basically 6 by 9 and that's 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times 3 is 9. So 2 is to 3 is the ratio of these simple interests. So option C is the correct answer. A sum of money at simple interest amounts to rupees 815 in 3 years and to 854 rupees in 4 years. What is this sum? First of all, let us assume that the principal amount is x rupees. Now as we have been given the amounts in 3 years and 4 years respectively, we can calculate the simple interest. So simple interest in 3 years is equal to the amount in 3 years minus the principal that's 815 minus x. In the similar way the simple interest in 4 years can be calculated and that's the amount in 4 years that's 854 minus the principal amount that's x. Now we can calculate the simple interest in 1 year and that will be equal to the simple interest in 4 years minus the simple interest in 3 years. So 854 minus x minus 815 minus x. So that will become 815 plus x. So x gets cancelled out. What we have is the simple interest in 1 year that's 854 minus 815 and that will be equal to 39. And this is the simple interest obtained in 1 year. Now simple interest obtained in 3 years will be equal to the simple interest obtained in 1 year times 3. So simple interest in 3 years is actually 815 minus x is equals to simple interest in 1 year is 39 times 3. Right. So we have 815 minus x is equals to 117. Therefore x is equals to 815 minus 117 and that's equal to 698. Now we have found out the value of x. But what was x? x was the principal amount and that's what has been asked. So the sum is 698 rupees. Option C.